the NMI facing a $42.6 million deficit in fiscal year 2021, the region facing mounting pressure as the pandemic devastates the tourism industry. In his report to the legislature, Secretary of Finance David Attalig says tourism arrivals dropped by 97.5 percent. As the stability of the NMI's economy teeters on a fiscal cliff, the nearly $500 million in American Rescue Plan Act deployed as a parachute. Secretary Attalig says that the NMI saw a $3.3 million revenue surplus. That comes with $18.8 million in COVID pandemic disaster expenses under review for reimbursement by FEMA. The $64.7 million deficit estimate is brought down to the $42.6 million total with those figures at play. Atalik notes that the deficit is mostly attributable to recent disaster and COVID-19 operations, just over $9 million for medical referral, nearly $27 million for law enforcement, and over $33 million for disaster. Atalik says the law enforcement costs are tied to overtime in the pandemic response. Medical referral expenditures are a result of having to send patients to the U.S. due to travel restrictions in Asia. Atalik says that the injection of federal sources softened the pandemic's blow. However, efforts to pursue larger scale resumptions in tourism and economic activity will be required to meet government obligations.